proper host of Taking It to the Streets. And I'm doing a follow-up. The last time I interviewed my guest was back in January 2008. And I'm doing a follow-up because something has developed within the past year uh, regarding Father Augustus Tolton. And Pastor Sabrina Penn, who I'm going to interview again, is the great-grandniece of Father Augustus Tolton. And I don't know if you've read about it in the paper, but they are working on trying to uh, make him, put him into priesthood. And so, uh, 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 Sister Penn is going to correct me uh, if I make a mistake about that. But uh, we're going to talk to her a little bit about what has developed recently and what's going on for those who may not know or never heard of Father Augustus Tolton. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule, Pastor Penn. Glad to be here with this interview. Good, good. Now, you are also a minister. Uh, give me the name of your church. The name of my church is Emmanuel Christ Temple. I've been a pastor for the nine years here, and also I'm the fourth grand niece of Father Augustus Tolton, America's first African-American Catholic priest. And Father Tolton's up for the candidacy of sainthood. It was announced through the Archdiocese of Chicago by Cardinal Francis George. And he has appointed Joseph Perry, who is the vicarious of all the black Catholic church here in Chicago, to uh, get great witnesses of Father Tolton's heroic virtues and to bear witness of any witness uh, that, or miracles that may have occurred for the sainthood of Father Augustus Tolton. So he would be the first black Catholic priest? He would be the first black Catholic saint in America. Saint. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's uh, different steps for sainthood. First, he becomes um, a servant of God, which he is right now. Uh, that was uh, designated in February of 2011 uh, and also now they're looking for heroic virtues and I'm supposed to be an inquiry witness for Father Tolton and others and there's been reports of different miracles that have uh, been sent to the Vatican and they're uh, researching them for his sainthood. Oh, very good. But in the meanwhile, what are you working on now? I know you wrote a, a book about uh, Father Augustus Tolton and I think you also written a children's book, and I want you to talk about the children's book a little, and then tell us what you're working on now. Okay. Uh, in last May of 2010, I came out with a children's book called A Boy Called Gus, and this book was written so young people could grow up knowing the history of America's first black Catholic priest and his struggles. Father Toten also uh, should be known worldwide I believe that's why I have written this play called a place for my children after the first book that I have written and uh, it's just to spread the word and I'm trying to keep his legacy alive and I'm just doing my part in the sainthood but that's good that you're trying to continue your legacy on and keeping his legacy alive because often history about our people are lost forever because we don't keep up with it or try to keep a record of it, you know? So I really appreciate it because I'm going to tell you the truth, I really didn't know until I met you that uh, uh, there was a, a black priest back there then. And do you remember exactly uh, his date of death? Yes. Uh, Father Augustus Tolton, he was born April the 1st, 1854. And he died 1897 here on the streets of Chicago. Uh, it's supposed to be quote unquote a heat stroke. Yeah, that's what the paper said. He died uh, getting off the train, I think, from 35th Street. Uh, yeah. Somewhere in that area from the train, he died of a heat stroke. But you don't believe that, do you? Uh, my personal belief, no, I do not. And that's what led me to write my book, A Place for My Children, because I have received numerous of of calls stating that uh, Father Toten did not just die of a heat stroke, but a little something else. It's called botulism. Uh, it's a food poison. Once it's in the blood, you think the person's having a heat stroke, mm -hmm. but they would end up taking a blood test and see 
that is from food poison and he went to a retreat so I can't say that any of the priests poisoned him but I know that he had died of poison I believe okay now um, we're going to interview a couple of players uh, in this play and what really ins inspired you to come up with writing a play are you going to tell everything even about the allegedly poisoning of Father Augustus Oh yes, that's at the very end of the play of his death. His sister and other family members had great suspicion of his death. Um, we don't know, I can't say that he died of poison, but we truly believe in this play that we're going to bring it out as a philosophical point of view. It's going to be an open end with questions. Was he slug? Was he poisoned? What happened to him? Just as the newspapers did in 1897. Now, where can we expect to see this play? Do um, you have any idea? Yes, yeah, sometime in 2012, in the springtime, we plan to have this play at several places. Uh, it's not confirmed yet, but look out. We're on our way. Okay. Okay, well, I want to thank you, Sabrina. And now we're going to interview a couple of the players in the play, okay, and talk to them, okay? So thanks for sharing that with us. Thanks for having me. I'm here with one of the participants in Reverend Penn's play. And your name, young man? Mark Hargett. Okay, and what part are you playing? I'm actually playing the, uh, the part of Augustine to Toten. Okay, so what do you know about Father Toten? Well, uh, from the research that I did, I know that he was one of the first, or the first ordained uh, black priests in, in America. I know that he had a, a really good following. It's kind of interesting, uh, the struggles that he faced. When you think about somebody being a part of um, the church, you know, you wouldn't think that some of the things that he dealt with would be a part of it. But uh, the times that he came up in, the whole thing with racism and things of that nature were a part of his struggle to become a priest and to, uh, to continue to try to help the community. So it's been an interesting thing learning about that stuff. Okay, is this your first time being in a play or what experience do you have as a participant? Uh, this is my first time being in a play and being a participant. Um, it's something that I've I, I thought that I would like to do and so here I am trying to be bold and, and see if I can live up to the expectations. I'm sure you can. I want to thank you for your time, okay? All right, thank you. Okay, here with me is another participant in Reverend Sabrina Penn's play. And young man, what is your name? Hi, my name is Earl Smith. Okay, yeah. Earl Smith, what motivated you to get involved in participating? Uh, I'm I've, um, quite interested in uh, uh, history and the idea of publicizing uh, the life of the, the first African-American priest, Catholic priest, uh, really intrigued me. And uh, so when Sabrina asked me if I would be in the play, I, I said yes. Okay, have you been in a play before? Uh, yeah, I've been in, in a number of plays, um, primarily in college. Um, but uh, really haven't had the opportunity in recent years to to uh, participate in any plays. So what part are you playing in this play? My major part is that of uh, Cardinal Giovanni who uh, was uh, a main person in Father Toton's life in Rome. Very good. Well, I want to thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing the play. Well, thank you. I'm, uh, we're really looking forward to producing it. Good.